isn't like a cute thumbnail. Just kidding. <laughs> Do not cut your own hair. Hey everyone, it's Lauren. Welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another TE video. To cut or not to cut your hair. This is something that I struggled with a lot. This is something that I got a lot of DMs about. You know the drill and I thought I would make this video. And it also won in the Instagram polls. If you are new to my channel and you do not know this, every week I do an Instagram poll asking you guys what video you wanna see pertain to TE and hair loss so that you are getting the information that you want. So be sure to go and find me over there. Anyways, without further ado, let's jump into this. So I would say the major concern that I think people have when they're going through TE or hair loss when it comes to cutting your hair is that it's going to cause a lot more fallout. So obviously when you go to the hair salon or you go to get your hair cut, they are going to wash your hair. They're going to comb your hair. A lot of times they are not super gentle. They're going to keep like combing and then like cutting and then combing and cutting. Yes, I'm low key holding hair cutting scissors throughout this video. It's not weird. I'm going to put them down. Oh, hey. I would say my number one thing that I want to say before I even get into this topic is you're not doing anything too extreme. I would not do anything too extreme at this time. I feel like you all know, you know, going through this is hard enough. The last thing that you need to do is cut your hair super short or shave your head or something crazy and hate how you look even more. Okay, so I just feel like already you're not doing anything too extreme, so just get that out of your head, and if you can get it out of your head, then you can listen to the rest of the tips. I think the first thing that you need to think about is what is your current situation? Is your hair super long, super heavy? Is it, you know, just causing like a lot of tangles or a lot of pull? Kind of what's going on there? So, you know, I think obviously evaluating your length evaluating kind of your hair type. Do you have thick hair? Do you have a tight curl pattern? Okay, so I think definitely looking at kind of the weight, the length, your hair type is important. I think the other thing that's really important is looking at your hair health. So if you have a lot of dead ends, honestly, probably cutting off the ends is gonna make your hair feel a lot fresher and new. If you color your hair, um, that's something I can talk about in a different video, but I definitely like don't recommend it. If you do color your hair, take that into consideration with your hair health as well. Obviously, it's gonna be causing more damage to your hair if you color or heat style, so you may want to consider getting it cut more so than somebody who doesn't do those things. The last thing that I think you need to consider is how do you typically style your hair or kind of what is the style of your hair? So if you have super, super long hair and that's not a flattering look on you because now the ends are kind of yucky and it's just pulling down on your hair and now that your hair is thinner, it just doesn't look good, obviously then you're gonna probably wanna cut some of the length off. So I definitely think that evaluating kind of what the best style would be for your hair at this current point is gonna be important and that is something that you should definitely take into consideration. The next thing that I think that you really need to think about is who is going to cut it and how are they gonna cut it? So what is your relationship with your stylist? Do you feel comfortable telling them about, you know, kind of what's going on? Do you even have a stylist? Do you wanna keep going to them? Do you not? I think it's really important to have an open and honest conversation with the person who is gonna be cutting your hair so that they know kind of what you're nervous about and they can kind of change the way that they do things so that they can accommodate your concerns. I would say that there are also probably hair that there are also probably hair salons out there that have hairstylists that specialize in people who have alopecia or some sort of TE, something like that. So people who actually deal with people like this on a daily basis. That is not something that I did, but I think that would definitely be something that you could look into. So regardless, I think it's important to talk to them. One of the things that I would talk to them about, whoever's gonna be cutting your hair, is doing a dry cut. It's where they perform the cut on dry hair. And I feel like that just helps because you don't have to do the whole washing business at the hair salon and I think it just cuts down on a lot of the brushing that they do and I just think it's less traumatic on the hair overall so if that's something that you can find near you I would definitely consider that I did that for about a year until I felt like the fallout had totally stopped and I was comfortable actually having somebody else wash my hair but when I did actually have them wash my hair I ended up actually having to change stylist because I had moved I was you know really upfront with her about kind of the situation I was in and that was a new stylist so that was hard so definitely you've got to talk to somebody because you know working with dry cuts and doing stuff like that I feel like that can be really helpful but it's gonna take those conversations to even have that as an option all right so that's really it short and sweet this week but I hope that you guys like it let me know what 
whether or not you think it's a good idea to cut your hair and whether you're gonna cut your hair. I think that it's a really personal choice, but I definitely think that in a lot of situations it can be the right thing to do and in a lot of situations maybe it's not necessary. So anyways, hope that this was helpful. Again, do not go extreme and do not cut your hair yourself. <laughs> I'm so weird. All right, well, like this video if you wanna see more content like this. Comment down below, again, kind of like what you're gonna do with your hair. I'm so interested to see if you guys think that it's more beneficial to cut or not. And yeah, be sure to subscribe if you haven't already and go follow me on Insta, like I said in the beginning, if you wanna be part of the weekly polls. Talk to you guys later, bye.